Hello and welcome to BadgerCam. In this week's video, I'm going to be building the Airfix 170 second scale Hawker Hurricane. Even though the Spitfire ended up being the more important plane in the end, the Hawker Hurricane was still important during the Battle of Britain. Predating the Spitfire, it outnumbered it nearly two to one and was the main workhorse of the RAF, responsible for dealing with the bombers that were inflicting massive damage across England at the time. Anyway, onto the model. In the box, you get a full colour instruction manual, the spurs to build the plane, and a decal sheet to build a plane based in France at the start of the war. First look at the sprues, everything looks nice and crisp. There's a little bit more flash on these compared to the Spitfire though. Anyway, getting into the build. slight change of pace with this build, first thing on the menu is building the housing around the undercarriage. The fit seems a bit iffy on these first parts, but it all comes together better with the other bits in place. That done, it's time to add the upper wings to the lower ones. The upper wings go together well, but we'll need a little bit of clamping while they dry, along with some clean up between the seams. With that done, it's onto the cockpit floor. Adding the foot plates and pedals along with the stick to the upper wing assembly. From here on out, things settle back into the more default building routine, building the seat and dashboard areas. Now it's time for some pre-painting before I can carry on with the build. I start by painting the foot pedals and lower cockpit in a bit of Army Painter Plate Mail Silver before giving the seat and lower sides the same metallic treatment. Silver done, it's onto the green. Just a few spots of green on this model. I opted to use Vallejo Gunship Green as it's a pretty close match for the RAF cockpit green here. With that done, it's just a case of painting the dashboard black before leaving it to dry. With the interior dry, it's time to put the main fuselage pieces together. These bits go together alright, but the seat might need a bit of jostling to get the bits to line up just right.
Then it's time to add this to the main wing assembly. The fit was good, but the leading edge will need some work as it steps down a bit where it lines up. Now the instructions have you move to the tail end of the plane. Adding in a panel to complete the tail and adding the horizontal stabs and the rudder. Next it's onto the under wing details, intakes and the like before moving on to the undercarriage. The undercarriage goes on well, but it's very fine and needs some care to remove from the sprue without damaging it. Wheels on, it's time to add the aerial exhaust and prop. Watch out for the exhaust on this model, as the kit actually comes with two versions and I nearly put the wrong ones on. With those on though, that concludes the main build of this model. Now onto the painting. First thing to do is the underside. It's a 50-50 black and white early war scheme on this model. I start off with the white first, as it will be easier to go over later. I'm using Army Painter Matte White for this. When that was dry, I masked down the middle of the plane and painted the opposite side black. Both of these shades were built up in three or four thin layers. Next up, it's onto the upper wing surfaces. For this, I use Vallejo British Standard Dark Green and Vallejo British Standard Dark Earth, again building up the paint in thin layers. After picking out a few details, it's onto the panel lines. For this I use watered down army paint a strong tone and simply wiped away excess with my finger leaving the paint in the grooves between the panel lines. There are not that many panel lines on a hurricane and I found the paint job looked a little flat so I watered down some strong tone even more and gave the wings some fake shadows in the dips between the supports just to add a bit more interest to the model. That done, it was just a case of adding the decals. I felt the decals that came with this kit were a little less involved than some of the previous World War II fighters I've done, but they look nice and uh, really finish off the look of the model. With the decals on, it was time to just give it a little light weathering, and this is the finished plane. Not my best work, I think I might have over weathered this one a bit, but I'm still happy to have a hurricane on the shelf to go over the other Battle of Britain planes. All in all, this is a nice easy kit to make. With a bit of work on the seam lines you get a nice model. Just a few bits to watch out for, like the fine undercarriage and pedals in the cockpit. But if you go slow with these parts, you should get a nice finish. Anyway, that's my look at the Airfix 170 second scale Hawker Hurricane. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that if you're building one of these at home, it gives you a good idea of what to expect. Anyway, thank you for watching. Until next time, look after yourselves.
and have a good one. Goodbye.